Springs Ether. I found a pack of Koi watercolors on eBay, so I figured I'll do another unboxing and make a swatch for them. I'm really stoked for this spread. I really like the colors that it comes with, so if anybody likes... Before I forget, I wanted to show this necklace that I made. It's got a little Nadsar, a little Rajruksha seed, I always mess that up, quartz of quartz, a little cherry bottle, a little dye, and a coral rose from a mismatch earring of my great grandma, and an elephant. And the necklace itself is from a 60s choker that had butterflies, that have seen better days, so I'm probably going to re-enamel them and put like resin or something on them. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Getting right into it, this is a creative art colors kit, and what I get out of that, that just means there's no real rhyme or reason to the palette, or it's just not a traditional or classic set. Um, this one specifically comes with four metallics and eight fluorescents, so I am especially excited. And this time I have a little piece of paper all ready to go. <laughs> and I figured this is going to be the perfect set to finish up these little mermaids that are going to be earrings as soon as I finish them. I showed them in the last video, but I've been using the watercolors to create- I did it again, I swear. <laughs> to create these little charms. And it's just watercolor, paper, and imagination. This is called a little koi watercolor set made by Sakura, which I see this brand everywhere. And here we have it. Found this one on eBay. Oop. I like it. So what we have here is we got plenty of room to mix around. A little sponge to clean off the brush, I suppose. To soak up excess and of course a brush. Look at me go. So I'm guessing this is to cool this little black thing is to close it while you have it in the kit. So you could keep water in it. And spill her up. I really like these ones, the brushes that have the little reservoir for water, because um, it's a lot quicker cleaning the brushes because it kind of just flushes the pigment right off of it. I'll throw this pull up too. Oh, this comes in handy. at the opposite, you would assume so. Well, I really like the brush a lot, a lot. It's definitely different than the one I'm used to, which is this little lady. Let me try to get on. The bristles are much thicker, and as well as the, like the brush itself, I was very interested. So I'm gonna make a little swatch. This is from the last one, the Van Gogh Pinks and Violets, and then your basic Winsor and Newton set. That guy. So 
over and it looks like this one is in order <laughs> starting with silver even though I really want to start with the fluorescent going through the squares These metallics blow a lot more than, well, this silver specifically blows a lot more than this. Um, this is more, I don't know, um, a f di way different texture. A huge fan of both so far. I mean, I love the silver, what can I say about it? I mean, super opalescent, I don't think this one's going to be picked up at all. But it's, it's really beautiful. It's like a pearl, fairy tale pearl under a fairy tale ocean. So this is the light bulb. Very light. Let me get some. And I was gonna start doing like um, the swatches, like half of it might be one coat and the other half will be two coats but this one's just gonna be one coat well this is very light like not really pigmented and they're so just super super sparkly so like maybe to put on top of things or use with whatever you usually use for highlights just for sparkle it's yeah. And the gold, the light gold of the set is a little opaque too, but much thicker. But that's, I don't want to say waxy because I don't know what the binders and such inside of it. I think I read something like bone glue, but slightly different texture. This is, uh, the deep gold. <clears throat> I mean, it's all very beautiful, but not thick. Like, um, but maybe I'm just not. Working with it how it wants to be worked with. I could definitely pick up. Okay. I just don't think I'm putting enough water in with it. I bet it would look really, really good with two coats. still a little like um light but <clears throat> very shimmery and again like two coats will be fire I just scrubs it <laughs> doesn't seem like um Something you squeeze. It looks like something that has like a mechanism or something. So I'm really excited for this one. This is copper. Very nice. 
Uh, the splotchiness is probably mostly due to me not knowing what I'm doing. So, I'll probably do uh, two coats on the metallics just to see how those go. But, finally, the moment I've been waiting for is easy colors. This is fluorescent yellow. And, oh, yes, I am still to this. It looks just like a highlighter. Ah, very nice. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. That's so cool. I've never had a fluorescent watercolor before. is so bright it almost glows I love this I am more than excited for that moving right on to the fluorescent orange oh yeah Very nice. Very nice. It doesn't look at all like it does in person. Just imagine orange highlighter. Dead on. And fluorescent red, which I've never heard of such a thing. Ooh, I like it. This with like, as like a background with that dusk pink from the Van Gogh and like creepy creatures crawling from the background into the foreground is what is going to happen with this like directly after I hit stop. I like that color a lot. I love it. I love juicy reds and pinks and sunset on Mars type of colors. That's another one I'm quite excited for. Fluorescent Rose. <laughs> it's just like a highlighter. It's so cool. I love these. I like the splotchiness too. Well, again, that's probably just because I don't know what I'm doing. But they're going to be perfect for little eerie scenes. And I'm just all about these right now. I wonder what I could do to make it more... So I didn't realize I was out of memory on my phone. So my phone shut off halfway through recording. But here is the swatch for the Koi set, the travel set with the four metallics and eight fluorescents. I'm stoked for them. They're going to be perfect for my little mermaids, which are going to be turned into earrings, like this little lady. So, I'm stoked. Thanks for whoever joined in on this. Um, if you have any other kits to recommend, I I'm always looking. I have this little kit I found on eBay. I think this was $7. Um, won a bid for it. And um, I might do a video for that one. It's the same exact spread as my loyal uh, the little Windsor Newton cut. I mean, it's, it's like the same exact one. And, yep. I guess that's... That's it. 
going to call her this. Oh, yeah, I was going to call her a mermaid, right? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me put it on the tripod. All right, sorry, y'all. My phone is out of storage, so I started painting this one green. Um, the outlines are kind of sloppy, but they're just going to be cut out and coated in resin, so no biggie. Um, till the next time. Thanks all. Thank you, Ether. I loved you. And see you next time.